Hello, my name is Peter Morris and I'm an architect. I set up my practice, HMM Architects, with three university friends in 1989, and we've slowly grown to being a large practice today, employing around 400 architects and designing schools, housing, offices, health centres and theatres, among other things. When I first started studying at Bristol University, someone said to me that architects seem to know a bit about everything, and in a way that's true. Being an architect requires a broad range of skills, bringing together creative design at one extreme and technical knowledge at the other. And while a hospital may be very different from a house, as an office, nothing like a theatre, what all buildings do have in common is that they are complex objects existing in three dimensions. And so the ability to understand, work out and visualise how things fit together in three dimensions is a vital skill for architects, probably above all others. Of course, a lot of design now takes place using the computer and it's certainly a powerful tool, but it's still no substitute in my opinion, especially at the early stages of design, for working things out by hand, whether sketching or making physical models. These skills are critical to working through your ideas and to making good design decisions. And that's where the many workshops available through the Creative Dimensions Trust come in. They're a great way of enabling you to explore these hand-based skills across a range of medium, whether carving into solid stone, making a puppet, crafting a piece of jewellery, or making a model of a building. Each of these tasks relies on the ability to describe a design in two dimensions before realising it in three. Architecture is something we experience every day of our lives, moving around and through buildings, and the Creative Dimensions Trust is a great way to develop some key skills which will allow you to explore and then to consider a career in architecture.